Hey there, health warriors. Ever wondered if the oil you use in your kitchen could be harming your health? It's a question few of us ask ourselves, but one that could have significant implications for our well-being. Today, we're turning the spotlight on a ubiquitous but often overlooked ingredient in our pantries, seed oils. These oils, extracted from the seeds of various plants, have become a staple in many of our diets, finding their way into our frying pans, salad dressings, and even our favorite snacks. But as their use has become widespread, so too has the debate around their potential health risks. Could these seemingly innocent oils be doing more harm than good? And if so, what are the healthier alternatives we should be reaching for instead? Stay tuned until the end as we delve deeper into the world of seed oils and uncover the poisonous chemicals they contain. It's time to oil the wheels of our knowledge and get the lowdown on these everyday essentials. Let's start from scratch. What exactly are seed oils? Seed oils, as the name suggests, are oils that are extracted from the seeds of plants. A variety of methods, such as cold pressing or solvent extraction, are used to squeeze out these oils. Now, let's talk about some common types of seed oils that may be lurking in your kitchen right now. First up is sunflower oil, a popular choice for frying due to its high smoke point. Another common one is canola oil, which is often praised for its low saturated fat content. Soybean oil is another frequent flyer, often hidden in the ingredients list of processed foods. Corn oil, known for its mild flavor, is another seed oil that's commonly used in cooking. And finally, there's grapeseed oil, which is often touted for its high levels of vitamin E and omega-6 fatty acids. These oils are widely used in a range of products, from processed foods to restaurant meals, and even in home cooking. Their widespread use is largely due to their affordability and long shelf life. Plus, they're often marketed as heart healthy, which can make them seem like a good choice. But here's where things get tricky. While seed oils do contain some nutrients, they also come with a host of potential issues. For instance, many seed oils are high in omega-6 fatty acids, which in excess can lead to inflammation and other health issues. Moreover, the heat and chemicals used in the extraction process can lead to the creation of harmful compounds. Now that we know what seed oils are, let's explore why they might not be as good for our health as we think. While it's true that our bodies need some amount of these oils for essential functions, the problem lies in the imbalance of omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acids in our diet. This imbalance, largely due to the overconsumption of seed oils, can contribute to a host of health problems, which we'll delve into in the next scene. Stay tuned. Now, why are seed oils considered harmful? Well, let's dive into the science behind it. Seed oils are notoriously high in omega-6 fatty acids. Now, omega-6 is not inherently bad. In fact, it's an essential fatty acid, meaning our bodies can't produce it on their own, and we have to get it from our diet. However, the issue arises when we consume too much of it. The modern diet has drastically increased our intake of omega-6 fatty acids, upsetting the delicate balance between omega-6 and omega-3 in our bodies. Historically, human diets consisted of a roughly equal ratio of these fatty acids, but now the average person consumes up to 20 times more omega-6 than omega-3. This imbalance can lead to inflammation. You might think of inflammation as the body's response to a sprained ankle or a paper cut, but chronic inflammation is a different story. It's a long-term silent assailant that plays a key role in many serious health conditions, from heart disease to obesity, type 2 diabetes, cancer, even Alzheimer's disease. But that's not all. The process of extracting seed oils is another cause for concern. These oils aren't simply squeezed out of seeds in a gentle, natural process. Instead, they're often extracted using high heat and harsh chemicals. This process can create harmful compounds, including something you might have heard of, trans fats. Trans fats are a type of fat that our bodies can't process effectively. They're known to increase bad cholesterol levels, decrease good cholesterol levels, and boost inflammation, all of which contribute to a higher risk of heart disease. Despite these risks, they're formed as a byproduct during the extraction of seed oils and can sneak their way into our diet without us realizing it. Did you know that seed oils are also prone to oxidation? When exposed to heat, light or air, these oils can oxidize, producing free radicals. 
These unstable molecules can cause cellular damage, leading to a host of health problems, including aging, cancer, and heart disease. It's easy to overlook seed oils. They're often hidden in the ingredients lists of many processed foods we consume daily, from salad dressings to baked goods, even in our favorite snacks. And with their neutral taste, they're easy to miss. But as we've discussed, these seemingly harmless oils can have a significant impact on our health. In a nutshell, seed oils carry a double whammy of health risks. They're high in omega-6 fatty acids, disrupting our body's natural balance and promoting inflammation. Plus, the extraction process introduces trans fats and makes these oils prone to oxidation, leading to a cascade of potential health problems. Still think all oils are created equal? Let's rank them. Not all seed oils are created equal. Let's rank them from bad to worse. Seed oils are ubiquitous, found in a multitude of products we consume daily, from processed foods to our cooking oils. However, not all seed oils are the same. Some are worse for our health than others due to their high omega-6 content and the harmful compounds produced during their processing. Here's a rundown of common seed oils ranked from bad to worse. First up is sunflower oil. Derived from the seeds of the sunflower plant, this oil is high in omega-6 fatty acids. While these fatty acids are essential to our bodies in moderation, an excessive intake may lead to inflammation, which is a contributing factor to various health conditions. Next is corn oil. This oil is not only high in omega-6 fatty acids, like sunflower oil, but it's also highly processed. This processing often involves high heat and chemicals, which can create harmful compounds. At the midpoint of our list, we have soybean oil. This oil contains unhealthy trans fats, which are known to increase the risk of heart disease. Trans fats are created during the hydrogenation process, which is used to increase the oil's shelf life. Moving on to canola oil. While the name might sound natural, this oil is often genetically modified and heavily refined. This processing can strip away many of the oil's natural benefits, leaving behind an oil that's high in omega-6 fatty acids and potentially harmful compounds. Last, and indeed the worst on our list, is grapeseed oil. This oil has a very high omega-6 fatty acid content. Even though it's often marketed as a healthy oil due to its high antioxidant content, the negatives far outweigh the positives here. The high omega-6 content can contribute to inflammation increasing the risk of various health issues. As we navigate through this list, it's clear that seed oils can be a hidden health hazard. The high levels of omega-6 fatty acids, the potential presence of trans fats, and the processing methods used can have a significant impact on our health. It's essential to be aware of these factors when we make decisions about our diet. Feeling overwhelmed? Don't worry, there are healthier alternatives out there. We will explore these in our next segment. Stay tuned as we discuss healthier oil alternatives that can be a part of a balanced diet, promoting well-being rather than contributing to health issues. Fortunately, there are other healthier oils that we can use in our kitchens. It's time to bid farewell to those seed oils and welcome these healthier alternatives into our daily cooking routine. Let's take a closer look at these nutritious substitutes and their benefits. First up, we have olive oil. Not all fats are created equal. And olive oil is a shining example of a healthy fat. It's rich in monounsaturated fats, which are good for heart health and packed with antioxidants that fight inflammation. Olive oil is a versatile option that can be used for sauteing, drizzling over salads, or even for baking. Next, there's coconut oil. This tropical oil is a great source of medium chain triglycerides, or MCTs. These unique fats are metabolized differently in the body providing a quick source of energy and helping to boost metabolism. Coconut oil is also stable at high heat, making it suitable for frying and baking. And let's not forget that subtle coconut flavor that can add a tropical twist to your dishes. Avocado oil is another excellent alternative. This oil is high in heart-healthy monounsaturated fats, and like olive oil, it's loaded with antioxidants. Avocado oil has a mild flavor and high smoke point, which means it can handle high cooking temperatures without breaking down and forming harmful compounds. Use it for roasting, grilling, or stir-frying. And here's an unexpected contender, lard. It has a high content of monounsaturated fats, is stable at heat, and adds a rich flavor to your dishes. 
so don't be quick to dismiss it. Last but not least, we have butter and ghee. Yes, you heard that right. Despite being demonized in the past, these natural fats are making a comeback. Both butter and ghee are stable at high temperatures and can add a rich, creamy flavor to your dishes. They're also a good source of fat-soluble vitamins. Keep in mind though, moderation is key. Here's a fun fact for you. Olive oil has been a staple in the Mediterranean diet for centuries. This diet, rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and healthy fats, is often praised for its health benefits, including lower rates of heart disease. So, by making the switch to healthier oils like olive oil, you're not just improving your diet, you're embracing a lifestyle that's been proven to promote good health and longevity. Switching to healthier oils can do wonders for your health. By opting for these alternatives, you're not only avoiding the potential pitfalls of seed oils, but also gaining a wealth of nutritional benefits. So the next time you reach for that bottle of seed oil, pause and consider these healthier options. Your body will thank you. Let's dive into the truth about seed oils and why they are poisonous for humans. Seed oils, such as sunflower, canola, soybean, corn, and grapeseed oil, are considered harmful for human consumption, primarily due to their high omega-6 fatty acid content. While omega-6 is essential in small amounts, an excess can lead to chronic inflammation, a root cause of many serious health issues like heart disease, obesity, type 2 diabetes, cancer, and Alzheimer's disease. The process of extracting seed oils often involves high heat and chemical solvents. When seed oils are exposed to high temperatures during processing or cooking, several harmful transformations occur. Oxidation. High heat causes the polyunsaturated fats in seed oils to oxidize, creating free radicals. These unstable molecules can damage cells and tissues in the body, contributing to inflammation and chronic diseases. Formation of trans fats. High heat can also cause the formation of trans fats, which are associated with increased risk of heart disease, inflammation, and other health problems. Trans fats raise LDL, bad cholesterol levels, and lower HDL, good cholesterol levels. Toxic compounds. Heating seed oils can produce harmful compounds like aldehydes, which are toxic and have been linked to various diseases, including cancer. These transformations make seed oils potentially toxic and harmful when consumed regularly, especially in processed foods and high heat cooking methods. Choosing healthier alternatives such as olive oil, coconut oil, avocado oil and ghee can help reduce these risks and promote better overall health. However, fear not, healthier substitutes such as olive oil, coconut oil, avocado oil, lard, butter and ghee are here to the rescue. Bear in mind your health is in your control. Choose judiciously. Until next time, stay healthy, stay safe, and stay informed.